Good evening everybody, we have the third of four Dale side beers that I promised. I'm going to do them all in a row, one after the other. Um, this is oh, Dale side obviously from Harrogate, um, I explained that in the first one I did. Um, Monkey Wrench this is called, Dark Strong Ale. Um, dark and beautifully smooth apparently. Uh, 5.3 on the ABV so it's um, stronger than a session beer, it's what's called it, clusters of you know, premium strength ale. There you go, there's your old label. You get all that? No that way. Yeah. <laughs> so she's, she's doing that in front of the camera. There you go. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> yeah, monkey wrench. As you can see, there's a picture of my wife on the ball. I mean, oh. I mean a monkey. Oh. It's not even a monkey, it's a chimpanzee. <laughs> Never mind, anyway. Oh. Holding a wrench. Yeah, let's just... Thanks for that. <laughs> she threw a lip balm at me. Uh, anyway, that's uh, the dog's wondering what the hell's going on. Let's crack this one open. Reet. Uh, yeah, like I say, 5.3 is what it is. Um, get a bit more in there for nose. Let's have a smell. Let's have a pong. Ooh, well that smells nice. It's fairly dark, almost licorice smell. Uh, it's not even a particularly very dark beer, but uh, it smells darker than it is. Um, bit of, it smells like a, um, it's got that Belgian dark ale smell to it. If you ever had like a dark Abbey beer, particularly thinking of uh, what springs to mind. Um, Delirium Nocturnum, uh, which is a Belgian beer. Um, that smells a bit like that. Yeah, sweet, roasty, malty, licorice sort of smell. A bit of vanilla -y caramel just underneath somewhere. Um, that smells quite nice, that. Flavour some dark strong ale. Aromas of fruit, hops, and roasted malts give way to hoppiness on the tongue with some sweetness. Serve it at about 12 degrees. Uh, Alright, let's get this out. And have a proper look. See what we've got. Get a bit of head going there this time, I think. Right. That's nice. I've just poured a smallish head. Uh, I don't think it's going to hang around for very long. Anyway. It seems to be fizzling away fairly quickly. There's big big bubbles in there. It's slightly off-white. There you go. See, blah, blah. Um, little fingers worth, I would say, yeah. Um, slightly off white, it's a really dark ruby, is what it is. It's not dark dark, like uh, Thigston's Old Peculiar, for example, or Black Sheep Rigwell, to that sort of dark. It's not like that. Although it is, it's borderline. If you've heard Rigwell before, you see, I mean, it's a bit darker than this. But you hold it up to the light, it's red. It's a really nice ruby colour. That's a, it's a nice amount of head, that, I think. Right, tuck in. Cheers. Um, mm. First thing you notice, well first thing I notice, it's, it's a fairly light body. There's a fair bit of carbonation there as well. But it's a smooth beer like it says in the front. And the carbonation disappears quite quickly and you get, um, you see how quickly the head's going. Just give way to some smoothness. Um, Taste-wise, the first thing I noticed was, I think, bitterness. Fruity, hot bitterness. Yeah. Um, feels fairly smooth in the mouth. Um, there's a lot of twangy hop in the background. A bit citrusy. Um, grapefruity, maybe a little, a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to get that malt out. Yeah, a bit of a yeasty, bready malt taste going on there, and you get the sweetness. Um, after it's weird, because usually you get the sweetness and the nice malty body of a beer first, and you get the hot bitterness in the background, but that, the hot bitterness seems to be coming first, and is at the end, and there's a bit of sweetness in between.
it does taste nice though. There's definitely some fruit in there. I mean, you look at it, it's a nice red beer. It looks fruity. I can't pinpoint one particular fruit, I don't think. But it is fruity. I'd say it's... It, it feels sweet, but it's dry, if that makes sense. There's a little bit of underlying sweetness in there. I mean, it does say on the bottle with some sweetness. But it's it's roasty and hoppy, is what it is. Yeah, you can feel the, the influence of the hops, that great fruity twanginess. Um, but it's like a fairly dark, excuse me, roasted malt flavour. That yeah, that's I must have read that wrong. I was looking for a really big malt flavour. You can't get a massive malt flavour. It says roasted malts, and you get the roastiness, that burnt bitterness. Combined with hops makes it even more dry. But there's a bit of sweetness to balance it out, but it's not a sweet beer. It's um, pretty full bodied, that. It's nice. Um, not as smooth as. Oops, knocking the camera here. Hopefully, I'm still on the shot. It's not as smooth as I'd have liked it to be. Um, it is. The carbonation does last a bit longer than you would think. There's a smooth mouthfeel in the sense that it doesn't dry your tongue out with it, you know, it's not that astringent really. You know, it feels, it sticks to your mouth a little bit. And it feels a bit, a bit more silky in your mouth than the sort of beer that'll dry your mouth out. Yeah, full bodied, roasty, malty. Um, not so much of a malty flavour, a little bit bready, but it's, it's the roasted malts, the burnt that you can taste, um, combined with some dry hops. Nice and twangy at the end, and a bit of sweetness just in there, injected in there, just floating around, balance it out a little bit. Nice, uh, dark, fairly licorice woody smell as well. Yeah, well, it's nice. Yeah, not the best beer I've ever had, but it's it's a good, dark, strong ale. Yeah, definitely. Daleside Monkey Wrench. It says in the front there, WSI Beer Challenge 2005 Silver. I've never heard of that one before. But there you go, you see the little. Is that in the shop? That little emblem there. Um, another little rosette there saying 1998 cask winner. Okay. <laughs> Bye, whatever. Um, and a little one at the bottom there saying Champion Winter Beer of Britain Competition, Strong Ale Class winner. So I don't know who the awarding body was. But, uh, yeah, still. Fantastic. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.